Today I want to show you the uh, foundation double crochet. It's a great stitch for um, quickly working up your first foundation row. Uh, if you don't want to chain and then go back with your double crochets. Um, also, it works really well with garments and the like because it does have a bit of stretch and ease to it. So we're going to start with the slip knot. So assuming you know how to do a slip knot here. Adding your hook. And we're going to chain two. That's what you're gonna start with. So chain one and chain two. So then you're gonna take your hook and you are going to yarn over as if you're going to do a double crochet and go into that first chain, right? Yarn over and pull up. Now when you pull up, that stitch is going to be high. And there's a reason for that as we go through because if you make this stitch tight, your foundation row will start to curl and curve, right? So then you're gonna chain over and you're just gonna pull through that first stitch and then you're going to finish off as if it was a double crochet. Now you have three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, chain through two, yarn over and chain through two. So essentially you've really just built your first double crochet. So what you'll do now is you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna to start to see that you're building the base of your foundation crochets with two loops going across the bottom. So what you want to do after you've yarned over is to take your hook, you're gonna go under those two loops right here, yarn over, pull through. Remember, I said that first um, loop is gonna be high, right? So then yarn over, and if it helps, let me go back, if it helps, sometimes I hold here to keep that loop from um, minimizing and getting a little smaller. So yarn over and pull through one, and then you're gonna finish as if you were doing a double crochet. Yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through the last two on your hook. So now you actually have two double crochets. So let's try that again. We're gonna yarn over. Remember, look at this um, bottom here. Pull, go through those top two loops. Yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook. That first loop right here is gonna be high. You're gonna yarn over and pull through that one loop, and then you're gonna finish off your double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two. Keep losing that little piece, yarn over and pull through two. You now have three double crochets. All right, let's try that again. Yarn over, go into those two loops here. Yarn over and pull up yarn over and pull through that first loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through three. I'm sorry, and pull through the last two on your hook. So as you can see, you're starting to build your first row already without having to do the chains and then coming back and adding your double crochets. So you'll end up with that same look here. So let's just try a few more together. So we'll yarn over, turn it upside down, Go underneath those first two loops, yarn over, pull up high, yarn over, pull through the first loop, and then pull through the two loops, and then the remaining two loops. Right, one more time, yarn over, turn, under the first two loops, pull up a loop here, high, yarn over, pull through the first loop, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So again, if you start to see as you're going through that this is starting to kind of curl like this, that means that that first stitch when you go through here is too tight. So for example, if I yarn over and I go through, remember our top two loops, and I'm just here, after a while you're going to see this start to curve because it's getting too tight there. You need that extra loop, like you can already see it happening that quickly, right? Um, and this is just an example if I did it too tight, um, that this is gonna start to curl. You see, kind of can already see what's starting to happen there. So you want to make sure that you are allowing that first loop to be high. When you yarn over, turn, go under, yarn over, pull up, make sure that one's a little high. Again, I said if it helps, I kind of hold here, yarn over, pull through the first loop, Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay. And that is your foundation chain, or foundation double crochet, I will say, because you can also do this as a half double crochet and as a single crochet. So, 
Here you go. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.